Okay, guys. Uh, I thought uh, some of you wondered uh, how it works uh, when you machine stuff. Uh, so first of all, we have uh, uh, this part. Uh, I will make the X99 uh, cooling thingy. So here's our raw material, which is the piece of aluminum I got from uh, some spare raw material from uh, another um, another parts I milled. Uh, and uh, I will I will clamp it in the vise uh, like this. Now we will have. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we'll clamp it like that. Okay. So some of the tools I'll use. Uh, here are all the tools I will use for this part. Here we have a 10 mm end mill, uh, I, I will do some roughing with this one. An 8 mm aluminum mill, uh, I will do some finishing cuts with this one. A 5 mm roughing mill, uh, 5 mm finishing mill, a 3 mm fin finishing mill, uh, 10 mm um, uh, sea bore, uh, yeah, so, so bo uh, bore slightly. Uh, you, you bore with this one before you bore with the real bore uh, to get the, the real bore to um, be better centered uh, in the part. Uh, here we have the bore, uh, 3mm uh, tap, uh, M3, uh, and um, uh, how do you say, a chamfer mill. Now we're going to measure the height of the tool. Uh, so, so some of the tools are already measured in the height, but uh, we have a tap and a bore you need to measure. So I'll choose... Uh, where is it? Uh, tap and 3. Oh shit, my fingers are in the way. So here and we have the uh, radius and the height. There we have it. The, the height is sent to the machine. Now we need to insert tool um, in, in, in the tool magazine uh, in the machine. And we have uh, our uh, tap here. I'm going to insert it right there. So here is all our, all our tools in the machines. Uh, I'm not going to use all the tools, but this is the tools I got uh, uh, available. Now we're going to zero the part in the machine. Here I have a uh, part, uh, it's a, a gauge block, I think it's called gauge block. So I know it's 10 millimeters in height. So uh, I already checked and checked the zero, but uh, now I can feel that, yeah, uh, the mill is uh, exactly 10 millimeter uh, over, uh, over the part. So then I insert that, that number into the machine. And then now, because our uh, raw material is uh, uh, slight, uh, a lot bigger actually than the finished part, uh, I, I, I only need to eyeball um, the position of the mill. So I just, yeah, somewhere there. And then on the side we have uh, somewhere, I don't know, there? Yeah, that's okay. Here we have the cam editing software, and this is the part we'll create. Uh, this is the X99 uh, cooling uh, thingy. So, so uh, I first uh, defined, uh, I loaded the part, it's um, uh, just a 3D file. Uh, I, I also draw the, the, the square of the raw material, like this. And now we need to define different operations, um, uh, what to mill. So first we have some uh, facing of the part. Uh, you can see the uh, you see these lines here. This is the uh, this is how the mill will run. And here are all the different operations. So first we have the facing. Then we have some roughing cuts. Uh, you see them. Yeah, you can see them. They are blue and the background are blue, so it might be hard to see. Uh, either way, we have some more roughing. So I rough at the different uh, levels or different different depth levels. 
and then we have uh, roughing even more roughing uh, roughing inside there and then we will uh, drill and tap the holes these four holes, they, they will be M3 uh, we have... Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do the finishing cuts uh, first we have uh, finishing of the, the face here this face is on top there then we're gonna do some finishing of the outer contour so, so with, uh, with the roughing I leave some materials uh, around so uh, when I do the finishing cu uh, cuts I want to uh, um, mill as little as possible to, to uh, not get any deflection in the mill uh, and stuff like that we have okay so, so here we have the facing of uh, this this one there uh, uh, we have facing of this planar surface we have some finishing of this one uh, finishing of the co uh, contours around the part uh, finishing inside the pocket uh, finishing uh, on the outside and uh, the walls of the pocket and uh, now we're gonna do the chamfers so here we have the chamfers uh, on this side and uh, this um, yeah islands here we're gonna do chamfers even more chamfers uh, chamfers inside there and also a chamfer around the part I almost uh, forgot to tell you uh, uh, how I do with different uh, programming so, so uh, only show you what and then these are um, the operations so we have uh, I can choose from many different types of operation if I want to uh, face mill it, if I want to mill the contour if I want to do some rough cutting uh, and stuff like that um, and you just have to learn what all these stuff do uh, we can check uh, some of the roughing operations so here we have it the roughing operation and uh, here I choose uh, uh, which mill uh, to use and, uh, here we have different param parameters like uh, the side steps and how, how much material I want to leave on the sides for uh, for instance finishing cuts I also have uh, which depth I will mill at and uh, if I want to use uh, coolant so we have uh, another here we can have the, the chamfer so here I use the chamfer tool and we uh, here I have uh, set it to chamfer uh, and we have uh, 0 0.3 millimeter uh, chamfer and uh, this is how the tool will, will enter uh, on the contour and also the depth and the uh, coolant And now we're gonna simulate it. So press there. Okay. So like that. Mm. First we have the facing operation. Run a little bit faster. Okay. So then we have the contour. We have um, the roughing on the one depth. And then we have another roughing cut more roughing even more roughing uh, and then we um, uh, see bore the holes and we bore for real and then tap the, head, uh, the threads M3 so the uh, M3 only shows as, the, as a hole not, not as a re uh, real thread uh, finishing cuts, finish on top there, finishing a contour, fin uh, finishing the face, finishing another face, uh, fi finishing uh, here on this face, and uh, finishing the contours, finishing inside there, 
and the contours. Now we're going to do the chamfers. So we chamfer here, and chamfer there, and chamfer, and the chamfers on the outside. So that's all to it. Now it's time to po um, post the program to the mill, co convert it into G code that the, the mill understands. So we post it like that. Yep. Where do I want to put it? So I choose the uh, place to save the file. And now it's uh, converting to G code. And here we have the, all the G code that the mill can understand. You see, it's a whole lot of. Uh, whole lot of code. Okay, so time to do some milling then. Oh, it's really hard to see here, but start the program. So now uh, we have first uh, the facing operation. Really hard to get focus in here. The window is so dirty. After all the operations, we have the finished uh, part now. Focus. Yeah, something like this. Now I need to um, unclamp the piece and um, uh, turn it upside uh, upside down and uh, mill it on the underside. What I did now is just uh, clamp the part uh, upside down and uh, posted a program that uh, faced the surface. I also clamped the part really really uh, close so it doesn't stick up that much from the vise because um, uh, I, 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 I want as much possible surface area uh, on the clamping points here so it, so it doesn't uh, uh, break loose from the clamping. But the, uh, what I'll do now is just uh, use higher uh, parallel parts and uh, raise it up a bit so I can do the chamfering. Now when, uh, when I want to zero the part, uh, it's really, uh, really, really important that I get it exactly at the center of the part because the uh, um, chamfer I'll make uh, needs to be in the center of the part, so to speak. So this time I'm going to use a dial indicator. And you can see here that if I push this a small lever, it's quite there. So now I'm gonna uh, set it to zero here, and and we have um, zero here. And I'm gonna turn around and uh, measure this here, and set it to zero there and there too. Uh, and when I uh, and then I set the centrum of uh, and I get the center right here because I got the half the distance. Yeah, I've zeroed it in on this side too. You can see. And I inserted the number uh, here, up here. So uh, my eyeballing is off by um, 0.07 because that's the old um, uh, 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 zero point that's not the correct word either way so I'll just press um, here and then it calculates the center of those two measurements I got I'm gonna do it on the, uh, on, on the y, uh, y axis too and there we have it the finished, the finished part.